Hi, my name is Derek Samosi, and I'm a Special Olympics Missouri athlete from right here in Jefferson City. I'm getting ready to give you a virtual tour of our training flight campus. Remember, this is a 360 degree camera, so you can click and drag your cursor and see anywhere around me, behind me, to the side of me. Don't worry about the guy to the side of me. He's just here for technical support, really. So you can click and drag away from me until you face the to campus. I will give you a few seconds to do that. <clears throat> Great. Let's begin the tour. As you see behind me, we have Special Olympics drives, thanks to city officials. To the right of me is the uh, rock quarry that is currently still here. Let's go inside. As you can see, we have Special Olympics Drive behind me. Our address here is 305 Special Olympics Drive, Jefferson City, Missouri, 65101. Now, as we are walking in, this is our supporters on the ground. You can see their pavers for their generous contributions to this wonderful facility that I call home. <clears throat> now that we are inside, I can begin the tour. This is our lobby area where I was, where I work, and I am so blessed to have this position and job. Let's take a walk to the Learfield Hall of Inspiration. As you can see, we have the Hall of Fame screens scrolling down all these former Hall of Famers with Special Olympics Missouri, from coaches to athletes. We have the law enforcement torch run both where athletes and people can have their pictures taken. Off to my left, we have a whole wall of athletes. We have two iPads for guest books and stuff for people to sign in online. <clears throat> Let's walk into the healthy athletes wing. This is the one part of the campus that no other campus in the entire world has. I am so honored to be able to share this with you all. If you all scroll around, you will see we have a dental office. We have a vision office. We even have a sound booth, which I am going to show you. I'm so glad, honored to have this, and so, you know, no other place in the world has this in their facility. In front of me, you are seeing we have healthy health feet fitness, where people can have their feet checked, their weight, and everything done by doctors at no cost to them whatsoever. Healthy athletes is so important to all of us because without this, since of most athletes since of back home aren't even be able to fund their own doctor visits. But with healthy athletes program here at the Training for Life campus, we can have free health screenings to all of our athletes at no cost to them whatsoever. I am so blessed to have that. Now that you've seen the healthy athletes, Let's wing. Let's go to the Centine's Recreational Arena.
as you can see on the sides, you can see pictures of all these wonderful athletes and all their sports that they participate in. It is so inspirational. Here is probably the best part of the train flight campus that I have ever had seen. This is our Centene Recreational Arena to where we can hold multiple things at one we can have basketball courts, we have volleyball courts, <clears throat> we have a divider that can separate things between rooms. We have enough space in here to hold almost 600 people in this arena alone. The really cool thing about this building is this has two screens that I've never seen before on a gym. Because if you scroll around, you will see two projectors behind me off to the sides. I'm at a loss of words for this campus. I really hope that you enjoy it. Now, I want to show you Club Sumo, a storage warehouse where we store all of our equipment for all of our special needs athletes. I also want to tell you that this warehouse holds over six storage units worth of equipment that we have moved from our old facility to our new home right here at the Train Flight Campus. As you can see, as you scroll around, you can see all of this equipment, banners, just uh, everything that we would need to hold a special mix event. From shirts to banners to softballs to basketballs, footballs, just a multiple of different things. And, you know, who could have thought that we could have fit six storage sheds in the one building? <clears throat> now, I'm going to take you to the fitness center of our facility. Actions, you can see the pictures on the walls of these great Missouri athletes. These athletes have done so much for our organization. Now, what we are coming up on, if you look to your right, we have what we will we'll have in a couple of years, once we have the money raised, we will have something called the Back Nine, which will hold our law enforcement torch run plaza, tennis courts, Boxing courts, shot put, multi-purpose lawn, softball field, and a pavilion for athletes to eat outside. How cool is that? Now here is our fitness center. Where we can... Use ellipticals. We can run on treadmills. We have a weight facility in here. I think this is an awesome, awesome facility. As you can see, there are so many things you can do in this weight room that a lot of people can't do in their own hometown. Now, I want to take you to what I consider a really cool part of the facility. Let's go to the observation deck. In front of me is the Special Olympics flag. On the ground, if you scroll around, you can find the Train Flag Campus Charter Class members' names that have been 
put into the ground for athletes that have raised a little over a, over a thousand dollars each for Special Olympics Missouri on these two side panels. Now, as I walk in front of the uh, flag, you will see the law enforcement <clears throat> torch runs pavers. Let's go on the track so I can show you exactly what this facility has. Okay, if you look in front of me, you can find the soccer field up to my upper left. Now as I'm walking down the track, off to my left is our football field for flag football. We also have a running and standing long jump, same pit right next to our track. Now, I'm going to turn towards the football field. Now, if, as you're looking out, you can see there's a field there right now. But, in a couple of years, that will be developed into what we call our Special Olympics Back Nine. Up on the upper left, towards the bluff, you will find a softball field. <clears throat> Off to our center, that will be our law enforcement torch run plaza. Off to our, my upper right, that will be a, housing two tennis courts, one shot put area, horseshoe pits, and boxing courts. Man, let me tell you, there's a nice trail back in there too that winds around next to the bluff and back. What an awesome way to get exercise. Okay, now that we're inside, I want to take you into our central area office. Now, we are going to take you a tour of our state office headquarters. This is our volunteers section of our headquarters office where people can hang out. We have a couple of conference rooms. We have a project room to help get projects for the people in the state. And then we have a place for them to work. To my left is our copy room. That's where we have copier mailing. I think that's where. <clears throat> Lots of closet space. Off to my right, we have anything in the break room. This is our break room. We have an outdoor patio just outside. This is our catering kitchen to where if we have a catering 
somebody catering to our, our place. We can just cater everything right here. <clears throat> okay, now we are going to exit the headquarters office. We are going to head into the multimedia rooms. If you look off to my right, you will see a divider and so you know which, if you have a group of more than like 40 to 100 plus people, we can open up and make three individual rooms into one big room for a big meeting for over 100 people. <clears throat> These rooms are for rent. So if you guys, if you know of anyone that is interested in renting space, Please give us a call and we will set that up for you. One last place before I sign off is I want to take you on is in the, into the dugout. Now, in this room, we have places for athletes and their families to come and hang out. We have great family resources for anything to do with Special Olympics. So if anybody has any questions whatsoever, they can come to these pamphlets, they can come to me, they can come to another staff. You know, to ask questions, and we will be glad to answer them to the best as that we can. <clears throat> this is a great place to be able to let, hang loose, watch TV, get on laptops, read books, read up on anything Special Olympics. Now, that is the end of our tour. I hope you had fun as much as I did giving this tour to you. Now, we are coming to the final resting place for our tour. Thank you so much for coming with me today, for allowing me to give you this virtual tour. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.